Wow, wow, wow. It is now the Game of Thrones in Nigeria. It seems as if things are now beginning to go in favor of Wiki, aka the king of all deceivers, aka Mr. Fake Project, aka Mr. Not the Talk and Do. Wiki, because the Supreme Court has just given the local government autonomy, and it means by extension in River State, Fubara will probably lose control over the local government chairman because many of them are loyal to Wiki. Let's discuss this. Please don't go away. Hello, welcome to my channel. I remember your boy, Ernest Amosi Badeba, your Koje, Koje Science Media. If today is your first time of coming to my channel, please subscribe, and if not, just leave a comment. Yeah, it's been a while, and um, I've been very busy with a lot of things. So now I'm back, and um, I'm happy to be back. I want to discuss the recent Supreme Court judgment that local government should be autonomous. That is, they should be getting their funds directly from federal government. And this would be very good news to Wiki because Wiki is trying to control the local government councils in River State. And if they are autonomous, it means that their loyalty will be with federal government and definitely by extension to Wiki. Wiki will therefore use the opportunity to frustrate the efforts of Fubara. And, you know, allowing local government um, councils to have autonomy has advantages and disadvantages. First, the advantage is that I mean, it brings government closer to the grassroots, that is to the people, because people can, local people can actually participate in government. You know, bidding for contracts and all of that can be done locally. But when it is, you know, coming from um, the state government, the state government would have some people who are, have connections to them who can actually bid for this contract and therefore sideline the grassroots. So that's the advantage. But the disadvantage is that, I mean, if we have a system whereby the central government is one party, and the, the, um, the state government is another party. The central government can influence the politics of that state more by aligning and uh, um, um, creating incentives for the local government to make them loyal to them because federal government pays their money. So for instance now, that in River State, we have PDP, but we know that APC has um, has some inroads, gained some inroads into um, the camp of um, PDP. Wiki, the biggest deceiver of all deceivers in Nigeria. Wiki, the Mr. Fake Contract. Wiki, the man that never stands by his words, you know, we definitely want federal government to hijack the local government in councils in River State and therefore use that against the PDP administration in terms of frustrating the governor's effort, not wanting to show loyalty or obedience to the um, state governor, and also use that against PDP um, government in the forthcoming election by ensuring that, because if all the local governments in the states are I am, are, are loyal to the federal government. It means that they will work for the federal government and therefore, by extension, they will work for APC. And this would actually be a big blow to PDP, you know, um, because PDP um, has been known to be, you know, the um, um, the party that controls um, rivers state politics. But let's see how it turns out. Um, it, it will be a very sad thing. I, I'm not just happy because we all know that Wiki, um, Wiki, of course, Wiki didn't have a hand in this. It's, this matter has been in court for a very long time. But it's just that I mean, it will favor Wiki. And um, when it favors Wiki, Wiki is going to use it to its full advantage to ensure that it frustrates Fubara. Because we all know what he's waiting for. He's just waiting for something like this to happen so that Fubara will be dealt with. And he will now have opportunity and upper hand in the part two um, with Fubara to use this against Fubara. And um, I, I also like it because I, of recent I was discussing with some people and um, they told me that because the government is far from people, that is, um, state governors can just wake up and dissolve local government councils. They can just create local government council. Now, look at it, for instance, that Ibadan has, I think, 30 or 33 local government councils. If whatever is in that, the state governor just wakes up and says that he wants to make them 40 something, federal government will not pay. Federal government will only pay to the 33 recognized councils. That's another advantage, so that money will not be wasted. You know, um, federal government will be able to control it. But we all know that once this happens, this, many people in the local government councils are, uh, do not really give account. They are because now we have over 700 and something local government councils in Nigeria. Tell me, which judicial system will be able to start probing out of all these local government councils when they start siphoning and stealing money? This won't just happen. But when we have like 30 something states, it's easy for you know the judiciary to be able to go around these 36 um, uh, governors and all of that. But when we now have all these local government, imagine in one state in Ibadan, for instance, now, which judiciary system will be able to tackle um, abuse of power in local government? Do you understand? So that's why it, that's why it also has this little disadvantage. It makes them not to be accountable. It makes them to not to be checked and balanced by the state government. And um, but who knows? We'll just try it because that's what the um, constitution actually states. I think 1979 constitution said that they should have autonomy. They should be independent. But now that um, the Supreme Court has actually now decided that in favor of the local government councils, let's see, especially in river states where you know. Um, Fubara is having issues with elongation of tenure by this local um, government chairman that is um, uh, spearheaded by Wiki, the, the king of all deceivers in Abuja, who wants to be two-time two governor or three-time governor of River State, being a minister in federal capital territory, and also wanting to be the controller general 
of the affairs of rival states, even though the people have voted for a person to um, to, 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 to air the affairs of rival states. And the body language of the river, uh, people in rival states shows that they want Tobara to you know, function well. But Wiki has been frustrating Tobara's effort with his kangaroo um, House of Assembly members who are loyal to him about him. I, th I think 19 or so of them that um, by virtue of the constitution, they no longer are members of the House of Assembly because they, they left their party to another party and it's illegal in Nigerian constitution for you to leave your party when there is no crisis. So let's see how the event unfolds in River State in particular. I remain your guy, Ernest Amosu Bradibar, your Koji, signing out. Peace. Please remember to subscribe, share, and like, and comment on this video. Thank you.